My film tells the story of Hamburg's World War II Nazi destroyed Chinatown. I choose to tell the story because so many stories remain completely off the margins. I am the proud granddaughter of a Chinese American World War II veteran. It took over 75 years for Chinese Americans to get recognized by Congress for their service and contributions during World War II. And I think that with the story of what happened to the Chinese in Germany, there have still been no reparations despite attempts at doing so. And there's still no inclusion of these stories in the wider narratives. And it is my hope that when we look at the impact of Holocaust and Nazism, we understand how it affects us all. When I went to Hamburg, I met with other local Germans and I asked them if they knew this story. I talked to historians who conduct tour guides in Auschwitz and they too had never heard of this story. And I think it's a question of what are the factors and reasons for why these stories go unremembered and untold. Finding information on this topic wasn't very easy. I was able to find a Wikipedia page, which told me a little bit about what had happened. But then my real information began when I learned about the Stolpersteine memorials. And I found out that each stone uh, is associated with a potential biography of the individual who commemorates. So I was able to find out the story of one Chinese German victim. And I found out the name of the biographer who had written the memorial for this individual. And he was a local historian, Dr. Lars Amenda. And when I went to Hamburg, he was actually able to give me a tour of the former site of Hamburg's Chinatown, as well as tell me more about the history of Chinese migration prior to World War II, the community that existed there, and then what happened. I think one of the main takeaways is that as long as these stories continue to go untold, there is the danger that these events will repeat. And I think it's really critical that we tell these stories to ensure that we continue to fight for ongoing justice and representation. We keep memory alive by sharing these stories. I think that I had the opportunity to share these stories live with local Germans, with individuals who I encountered, and they too now know the story and can share it with others. We should ensure that these stories remain in our history classes, and also we should teach that history with the understanding that history is not just about the past, but it's about how it informs our everyday presence and also our futures.